to do, and when to use the verb to make. It is important to notice that the verbs to do and to make have very similar meanings. This makes it difficult to know when to use which. So, let's begin by learning when to use the verb to make. To make. It is an irregular verb. Remember, it's three forms. To make, make, made, made. The verb to make expresses the creation or the construction. For example, labels usually say made in Germany or made in Taiwan. And here are some more examples of the verb to make with the meaning of creation or construction. I'd like to make some changes to this design. We made a large profit last year. Have you made any plans for your holidays yet? However, there are exceptions to this rule. For example, we also use the verb to make in many other expressions. Let's look at the verb to make, its common expressions. Here are a list of the most common expressions with the verb to make. To make an appointment. To make arrangements. To make an attempt. To make the bed. To make a complaint. To make an effort. To make an excuse. To make a loss. To make love, to make a mistake, to make money, to make a noise, to make a decision. Note that with this last expression, to make a decision, it is also possible to use the verb to take and say to take a decision. There are a lot of possible expressions with the verb to make aren't there? Now let's move on to using the verb to do. We use the verb to do in most other cases, especially for work and chores. For example, I do the cooking tonight if you like. Could you do me a favour? They've done a lot of research on the new project. What are you doing tonight? I'm not doing anything special. However, as with the verb to make, there are exceptions to this rule. We use the verb to do in many other expressions. Let's look at the verb to do and its common expressions. Here are a list of the most common expressions with the verb to do. To do the housework, to do the cleaning, to do the homework, to do the work, to do a job, to do military service, to do math, to do something or nothing, to do a favour, to do business, to do a course and to do exercise. There are a lot of possible expressions with the verb to do, aren't they? Now we've learned the most common expressions with the verb to make and to do. Let's finish by looking at the verb to make extra expressions. Here are a list of some more expressions with the verb to make. To make an offer to make a phone call, to make plans, to make progress, to make a speech, to make trouble. Look at these two example sentences. 
Are they making any progress with that new motorway? Jack always makes wonderful speeches. Keep on learning English.